And we're joined by Greg Dom, seeking a spot on council. You ran four years ago. This is your second crack at it? This is my second crack at it, yeah. Things have changed a little in your life since we last spoke to you then. Uh, they have, yeah. So four years ago, I owned the Kelowna SBCA thrift store. Um, and now I'm a local realtor in town. So we had to pivot during COVID and um, that was my pivot. So. so as a realtor, you've been getting a first-hand look at these skyrocketing you know, house values. Um, how do you put that all into perspective? Well, the market does what the market does, right? So we're now finally in sort of a level market. Um, and we're kind of back to 20, the 2020 um, levels of the market. Can anything so. council does truly you know, assist in terms of affordability? Yeah, we need to look at affordable housing. We need to look at new housing starts that are for um, rental, um, not just uh, you know purpose built. We need to have um, more rental properties available, uh, more low income properties that are going to be available for for people, um, just so that we can get that starting phase for for affordability. Right. Prior to this interview, you were saying that you know topping your list is um, public safety. You know people. Uh, if, crime downtown people are finding that frightening what can what can you do as a member of council to try to alleviate that well we have to work with our partners we have to work with our provincial partners we have to work with our rcmp um, and we have to work with people in the city to um, really work with the 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 core group of people that are causing the problem you know i get clients that'll say hey, you know what, I don't want to live in that community. And I'll ask them why. And they'll say, well, you know, I have a friend who lives over there and they've had their place broken into three times. I think the big problem is kind of this catch and release. We're letting these prolific offenders, uh, just we're letting them back on the street and it's costing the taxpayer a huge amount, not just their anxiety, but also dollar figures, right, for, for the taxpayer. Well, we've, we've uh, heard the head of our RCMP detachment addressed that. And I know there are some creative ideas that are starting to come forward. I mean, at least it seems like it's on the radar for council. It is, yeah. And, they, you know, the council has been doing a great job over the last four years, you know, with COVID and everything else. They've had to pivot. They've had to really work hard. Um, but we have a lot more to do. And I think, you know, myself, I, I, I'd like to be a strong voice. I'd like to be able to work with, you know, here in the city as being a liaison for the in towards the province talk to the province to get them on board and to you know this is an issue that's that's not just in Kelowna it's an issue with all of British, British Columbia all small communities so um, in this city we've seen um, you know other levels of government and our city working together trying to house the um, homeless population putting hundreds into housing, and there always seems to be hundreds more. Do you feel that they're on the right track, at least trying to keep up? Uh, they are, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, we're, we're doing a lot of work, good work. The city's doing a lot of good work, uh, but there's a lot more work that needs to be done. So it doesn't sound like you're trying to get on council to shake things up and try to, you know, completely uh, uh, come up with a different program, but you just think that you can, you can help forward some of the things that they're working on. Yeah, I think I can be a strong voice for the community. I've asked a lot of people in the community what their uh, uh, issues are, what things they'd like to see changed. And I think I can be a great voice in City Hall to help this community um, on the right path. Terrific. Great to meet you. Greg Doms and uh, good luck. Excellent. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.